To some politics now, Moses Wetangula was today endorsed as the Ford Party flag bearer at quite a messy, quite a noisy delegate conference where a delegate was shot and wounded. However, this did not dampen the spirit of the party as the other One Kenya Alliance OCA leaders vowed to work together and deliver the country from the shackles of corruption and bad governance. Wetangula was handed the authority to negotiate with other party leaders in OCA with the aim of having a single presidential candidate in 2022. Kennedy Moravi reports. This man had to be rushed for first aid after he was allegedly shot by another delegate who had hoped to clinch a national position in the Ford Kenya party. It is understood that after the list of new officials was keenly read, one of the delegates who police have not released the name yet was infuriated after not making it to the party officials list and decided to shoot in the air. This delegate was not so lucky. One of the three bullets hit him. The shooter was quickly whisked away by police to the Hadi police station. Police have said investigations have been launched and he will be arraigned in court Friday morning. The shooting incident ended the meeting prematurely. However, NTV understands the commotion only came after all the officials had been approved by the delegates. By 8 a.m. Thursday morning, delegates had already taken their seats at the Baraza Hall at the Bomos of Kenya. This is in defiance to attempts at stopping the meeting Wednesday when an order from the political party's tribunal halted the National Delegates Conference. Here, the party leader Moses Wetangula, dismissing issues arising from a splinter faction that was celebrating the order, that had also put a stop to another delegate's conference slated for such day. If you have the recklessness and the audacity of purporting to stage a coup, you must be ready to succeed or you'll be dead on arrival. The faction led by Kandui MP Wafula Wamunyini and Tongaren MP Eseli Simiu and a host of party luminaries opposed to Wetangula's leadership opted for a press conference to condemn the National Delegates Conference, whose outcome they now vow to challenge. Even if they went ahead to hold the NDC today, it will be an exercise in futility because there is a court order. We were aggrieved by the High Court action and lodged an appeal regarding the jurisdiction of the High Court over political party disputes. The matter is coming up for hearing on 8th of November this year. When you look at Wetangula, you see a party leader. You see a national leader. Lakini iko wengine nimesikia wakikimbia kule. They don't know even how to uh, shave their hair. Ato lajita party leader. Party leader ya nani wa? These decisions are what will define and separate boys from men and girls from women. At the Wetangula endorsement party, it was all fireworks. As fellow One Kenya Alliance principals joined him to celebrate his day and put their heads together and chart the way forward. In Kenya today and in many years to come, there is not a single region, there is not a single community, there is not a single party, there is not a single individual can walk the journey to leadership alone. Various political leaders calling on the Oka principles to not drop the ball and stick together. This team seated here, Musalia, Wetangula, Kalonzo, and Gideon Moe, give us a presidential candidate through consensus. Advice to you as principles, please build trust. It takes time to build trust. It takes a second to break that trust. This is your time. You must be together. You have no option to be together. Those who have been panicking, saying we're in boardroom meetings and what have you, have reason to fear because the arsenal is getting assembled. 
For the One Kenya Alliance, the journey ahead, that of getting a single presidential flag bearer, remains the oddest task, as those who have spoken at this particular function believe that if they do not stay together, then the presidency is for theirs to lose. Kennedy Muraidi, NTV at the Bombers of Kenya.